As a pagan priest ordained by God like many other ministers across America and someone who does have two administrative licenses so that I can actually marry people and help celebrate people and their love relationships, I have to tell you what I think. What I think is America is incredibly immoral today. But what I believe is that we have to get back to God today. And what I observe is that people are doing wrong things towards other people today that are hurtful. And it is hurtful to say, talk to the hand of someone. It is also hurtful to be overly micromanaging of someone's life that is not inviting you into their life. But what I can also say is that relationships often get abused by one side of the party, meaning they go out and they use someone up and then they throw them away and they expected that something else was going to happen, meaning the person with the other side of the equation would just walk away. A lot of times we do that. We see how immature it is, we see how uh, unusual it is, and we just go, okay, I guess my investment in you with time, money, love, and resources just wasn't okay. And the other side will make up all sorts of ridiculous comments about how someone's stalking them or complaining against them and all this sort of shit, and it's really just their way to get out of it. But the bottom line is we do have people who are like that, that they are users of other people. We also have people like me who says, you know, if there's been a communication breakdown, then we're going to discuss it. And I'm going to listen to your side, and I'm going to listen to my side, and I'm going to look for the fair middle ground. But when you've gone out of your way to intentionally hurt someone, and you refuse to actually talk to them in person to work the situation out, then I fully believe, as a man who is practicing his faith, that you have basically disobeyed and disavowed the Lord's house. And the Lord house has many reasons and many rules about how we handle conflict. Now we first handle conflict as we talk it out. Whether we talk by telephone or whether we talk by video phone, which is more preferred in a time of COVID, or whether we give ourselves the chance to talk across the dinner table where we're breaking bread, is also a marvelous way to kind of come back to center and come back to God and come back to the loving reason that God put you on a path with someone. But if you're purposely trying to put yourself on someone's path in life to abuse them, to harm them, to cheat them, to steal from them, to retro them, to reinforce your views of what you think life is in America, then you've totally lost your mind. Because American life is totally about life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness of individual people in a collective community. And a community does not have the right to dole out abuse on different types of people, different types of ethnic groups, different types of beliefs, different types of faiths, different types of religions, different types of sexualities, and different types of immoralities. Now, I know that's hard for you to hear. I myself do not like to see certain people dealing with animals, because what I see is that they are lazy and they're not willing to do the right thing, which was to first investigate what is the right breed for their family. And because they didn't investigate what the right breed is for their family, and because they thought that, oh, well, it's like a child, we'll just raise it and let it do what it wants to do, you've totally lost control of your dog, and you've put your entire life and family at legal liability, because most likely that dog's not going to listen to you. Kabish, do you see what I'm talking about? But people are something else entirely. And people have the right to interact with you and say, you know, you really hurt me. I'd really like to know why you did that. And all you had to do was talk to me. But why did you call that person? Why did you involve that person? Why did you humiliate me over there when I was trying to talk to you and repair this? And people have the right to do that. But liars of America like to drive by people and make comments and call police and destroy people's rights to the privacy of their lives. And they like to hit people with litigation abuse. And they like to gaslight people to try to get them angry and upset. And openly, that's still a form of abuse.